Hi, I'm Amadeus, one half of the Tidy Voice, and I want to do a new little feature for social media, which is talking about the history and the story behind the releases on Tidy Tracks. And I thought I'd start with number one, Tidy 101T, which of course was the hamburgers you found out. Now, this originated in the summer of 1995. I started a demo in my home studio in Kettering uh, around about June 95, and the demo sampled the Jets, Crush On You, and also had a replayed riff from Depeche Mode, Just Can't Get Enough, and uh, a bit of a high energy camp bass line. I played it to Andy Pickles, he said, this has got potential to be a hit, let's go in the studio and turn your demo into a finished product. So in July we went into the studio, remixed it, reshaped it and came out with the final version. We got Paul James to do a remix and we got ready for a release. Now initially we were going to put it with a major record label, we previously had tracks out on London Records as Hyperlogic, but now it was time to go alone. And John Pickles and his dad said why don't you set up your own record label for your own productions. So the summer of 95 we all went away and I came up with the idea Tidy Tracks and the logo was created and we had a record label. So once we'd finished the final track it took a couple of months to get everything in place for the final release and our first release on Tidy Tracks. So, we were all set to go, the artwork was ready, ready for a September release. There was a little bit of a delay uh, because the sample had to be cleared and the publishing with Vince Clark, but it finally came out actually at the end of October 1995. And the remixes were the Tradesman's Mix, which was Paul Jane's, Strike Me Down, a remix which was me and Paul James and the original handbag mode version which was me and Andy Pickles and that came out and to be fair it did okay it wasn't brilliant we sold 2,000 copies and it was our first release and we were quite happy with that but um, it did come back because once we put a couple more releases out on Diady Tracks a lot of people said hey why don't you re-release it so by the time we got to Tidy 1040 the following spring we did get some more remixes of You Found Out by the Hamburgers. And uh, at the time, the man of the moment and the DJ I'd been following since 1984 was, of course, Tony DeVee. And it was a sort of ambition and a wish and a dream come true to get Tony to remix it. So what we did, we went away and we got a lot more remixes. We got Tom Wilson, we got uh, a, a new Hyperlogic mix that we did, and then, of course, the Tony DeVee mix and uh, this little package went out to DJs and it finally came out in the spring of 96 the second time around with this sleeve and then over the years it didn't it sort of sat on the shelf and then got a remix when we got to this point during Tidy's life a bit later on uh, we did the recycled EP which was a 10 inch colored vinyl and um, it's come back round really because Tony DeVee and Simon Parks remixed it originally um, obviously sadly we lost Tony then but later on Simon Parks went in the studio and did a remix for this recycled EP the handbaggers you found out as you can see there and he did a great job in fact he introduced a brand new riff which brings us up to date here we are in 2024 and the riff that Simon Parks created and the elements that we did and all the influences from Tony V, Peter Steele has done a brand new remix for a Cult of Tidy uh, remix package and it's out now, in fact you can stream and download it now The Hamburgers You Found Out is back so our first release is back out there, it's bigger and better than ever I think you'll love it, so check it out Hamburgers You Found Out, Peter Steele remix, stream or download now I'll be back with some more stories when I can remember them.